Doodly, 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 do, do, jolly did monster boy rock. <laughs> My name is Monster Boy Rock, and welcome to Drawing with Monster Boy Rock, Inktober Edition, Part Dos. Yep. Now, before we start, I think we should say a quick hello again to Sir Seymour, the Inktober Skeleton Assistant, who is going to be joining me in these Inktober Edition videos all throughout the month. Hello again, Sir Seymour. Greetings, citizens. It is so nice to be here. It's very nice to see you too, Sir Seymour. Now, last year I did Inktober, and I had a ball doing the 31 drawings all throughout the month. I decided to join again, and like last year, I'm going to be following the official Inktober prompt list. However, there are two major differences this time around. First of all are the pens that I'm going to be using. Now, last year, I used the Uniball Single 207 pens to draw the Inktober drawings. But this year, I decided to vouch for something different. I'm going to use Mincho Pigment Liner Pens this year, and I think these are the kind of pens that I think most people use during Inktober. I mean, not these specific pens, but pigment liner pens, and how could they not when they're water-based, water-resistant, and archival ink? Therefore, you can do no wrong. But then again, what do I know? I never use these pens, but hey, sometimes it's fun to try new things. Now, the second major difference this year is that I'm not just going to be doing one drawing most days. I'm going to be making mini comics of up to maybe four pages every day. Not every single one is going to be four drawings, but some of them are. And I can't wait to start. Now, Sir Seymour is going to be helping me by telling me the prompts that I'm going to be doing each day. Okay, Sir Seymour. What do I have for this first week of Inktober? Well, Rock, your Inktober prompts this week are Poisonous, Tranquil, Roasted, Spell, Chicken, Drooling, and Exhausted. Thank you, Sir Seymour. Well, now it is time to get started doing the Inktober comics. Let's get started. Whoa, hold on, Monster Boy Rock. You forgot something. I did? What? You forgot to mention that once you're done with the comic, I, Sir Seymour, the Inktober Skeleton Assistant, am going to read the comic to the audience. You are? Indeed I am! Um... Okay, yeah, sure, why not? You can read the comics when I'm done. Okay, well, now it is time to get started. All right, I got my sketchbook. I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna place my ink seeking prevention paper right there. There we go. And now we can get started with drawing with Monster Boy Rock Inktober Edition Part Two. The first seven drawings. Let's get started, shall we? Okay, so for the first comic using the prompt word poisonous. I decided to create a little story of Sam and River on their way to a picnic. Sam stops by a bush to eat some potentially poisonous berries, and River tries to stop him. Now, this first comic has only two panels. Oh, Sam, be careful. Those berries might be poisonous. You should not eat them. Now, come on. I brought along a doggy bone for you to eat at the picnic. Poisonous. Hmm. Well, if they're so dangerous, then how can you stuff your face with Grandma's mixed berry pie? Answer me that. Yeah, hearing my characters come from your voice sounds very unsettling. You're welcome. Now for the second comic, the prompt word is Tranquil. So, I decided to do a little story of Lisa teaching her cheerleading team how to be Tranquil during cheerleading practice. This comic has four panels. Now, girls, the very best way to get through practice stress-free is to remain tranquil. The best way is to close your eyes and repeat after me. I am calm. I am in peace. My troubles blow in one ear and out the other. Now you guys repeat. I am calm. I am in peace. My troubles go in one ear and out the other. No, not go! Blow! 
In order to be tranquil, it blows in one ear and out the other. You girls will never be as calm as me if you keep this up. God! Comic number three uses the prompt word roasted. So I created a story of River and Russell on a camping trip cooking up some roasted marshmallows. This comic is two panels. Boy, I just love having roasted marshmallows on a camping trip. How are yours coming along, Russell? Oh, um, it, uh, it's going well. Yeah, it's going very well, I guess. Day four's prompt word is spell. So for this comic, I drew Stuart in class with Miss Holland, his teacher, asking him how to spell anti-disestablishmentarianism because these kids are supposed to be smart. Now this comic is three panels. Okay, Stuart, let's see how well you've been paying attention in class. Please spell anti-disestablishmentarianism. Piece of cake. <laughs> There's a Q in it, right? Stuart, please see me after class. Yes, Miss Holland. Oh, boy. Well, this drawing is making me thirsty. Ah, hey, Sir Seymour, you want a sip? Do you honestly think I can drink that without it going through me? I can't even drink water without it going through me. I can't even eat anything without it going through me. I'm a skeleton head. It just goes through me because I have no body. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh. Anyway, on to day five. Now this comic uses the prompt word chicken. So I created a scene of River at a farm and Sam decides to chase after a chicken because, well, he's hungry. This comic is three panels long. Woof, woof, arr, arr, gah! Sam, wait, stop chasing that chicken. We're at a farm, not a fast food place. This isn't the Kentucky Fried Barnyard we're at. For the sixth comic, the prompt word was drooling. So I created a story of River drooling over a special pizza that she's going to share with Russell while Russell tries to stop her from... Well, you know, drooling over the pizza. Now this comic is four panels long. There it is, Russell. Jumbles, jumble sized pepperoni, sausage, and mushroom pizza. And it's all ours to enjoy. Doesn't it look scrumptious? Whoa, River, you're literally drooling over it. Control yourself, River. Snap out of it. It's just a pizza! It's just a pe pe pizza I think I'm in love. Finally, for comic number seven, the prompt word was exhausted. So I created a story of River doing a school project and being a little exhausted by it. Thankfully, her mother comes in to kind of help lift her spirits up. This comic is four panels long. Wow, River, your school project is looking great. Thanks, Mom, but I'm very exhausted. I have been working on it all night and all morning. I'm extremely tired. Really? Are you sure you're too tired to take a little ice cream break? You're never too exhausted to have an ice cream break, Mom. Ah, well, I think that about does it for now. Thanks for joining me on this first part of Drawing with Monster Boy Rock, Inktober Edition, Part 2. I will be back next week to show you the drawing processes of the next seven comics for Inktober. But, if you want to see all these Inktober comics, as well as many, many other drawings with these characters from my passion project, The Secret Beauty... <laughs> Then you can view them all on Instagram.com slash The Secret Beauty Drawings or Facebook.com slash The Secret Beauty Drawing. The links to both of these websites will be in the description down below. Well, Sir Seymour and I will see you next week for Inktober Edition Part 2. Part 2. Isn't that right, Sir Seymour? You know it to be true, Rock. You know it to be true. And of 
course, if you want to see some more Drawing with Monster Boy Rock videos like this one that you just finished watching in the very near future, then please click the subscribe icon and hit the little bell to be notified for whenever I make a video like this one of when I drew River and Russell in their fall clothes, jumping into a great big pile of fall leaves. And you can click on this playlist to watch every episode of Drawing with Monster Boy Rock as well. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I hope you all have a very, very nice day. Take care now.